Everything's Fine is a novel about two very different young people who fall complicatedly, reluctantly, passionately in love. Jess, our protagonist, meets Josh. She's black, he's white, she's liberal, he's conservative. I think that what gives this story bite, what kind of makes it fresh, is that it's set between the years of 2008 and 2016. So bookended by Obama and Trump's presidencies, and so the arc of this relationship kind of traces the arc of America's increasingly fractured political climate. All that said, it's actually funny. Don't expect sort of like a dark, desperate political saga. It's sort of about young love, first jobs, family, and friendship as well. The life experiences that I brought to this novel are mostly in the form of my experiences as a black woman navigating predominantly white corporate spaces. So Jess works at an investment bank and then later on she works um, for a trading company. I also worked in finance and then tech and often you know, was the only black woman in the room. My inspiration for Everything's Fine came from a couple of different places. So first, I've always wanted to write a love story. I've always loved a good love story, but I feel like even sometimes the very best ones can exist in some kind of binary where, you know, you have a slapstick rom-com on the one hand and war-torn lovers and somebody dies at the end on the other. I really wanted to write something that kind of occupied the space in between that felt real and contemporary and nuanced, but that was all I had. Um, I didn't have plot or characters or setting. At the same time, it was 2018 and it was the middle of Donald Trump's presidency. I think I, like a lot of Americans, were sort of reckoning with who we'd become as a country. And so I had all these questions kind of rattling around in my brain. I read an article in New York Magazine that was called Donald Trump is destroying my marriage, which, you know, was about couples who are on opposite sides of a political aisle trying to navigate sort of unprecedented socio-political territory. And that was kind of the spark, um, you know, my way into the novel. It was the way that I kind of united all of these questions that I had about our country and our politics with this idea I had to write a love story.